Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Yet another video uh, about Apple 4K TV. Here I am with the Apple 4K TV, and here's my remote control. Um, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you how to check your cable. Right now, I'm using a high-speed 2.0 HDMI cable. I highly recommend that you get a good quality HDMI high-speed cable uh, I would say audio quest it's a good entry level premium cable uh there are others out there but i wouldn't spend more than 60 bucks you don't want to spend 120 130 200 for a hdmi cable uh audio quest uh you can get an entry level for like 50 bucks they're pretty good make sure you get a short cable get like a six feet or less than six feet something very short uh and then plug it into your Apple 4K TV. Okay, there's two factors that are gonna be very important for the Apple 4K TV. Number one, don't use a Wi-Fi, use Ethernet. Use a really good quality Ethernet cable connected to your router into your Ethernet port in the back of your Apple 4K TV, connect it, and then use a good quality short HDMI cable. 2.0 high-speed HDMI cable all right I would prefer audio quest that's my preference you guys can go with something cheaper but remember you already invested into an Apple 4k TV so why not get the best of the best why not get the best possible experience right isn't that the whole reason why you have the 4k to get the best possible clarity so why not invest it's definitely worth it now when you go to the settings video and audio settings right here uh, you can do this thing called right above the format you can do a check cable what this is going to do is going to check to see if your cable is a older cable or a newer cable which is 2.0 all the cables nowadays are 2.0 okay but i do have some older cables and they they work here's the thing they will still work but there you will you will notice a latency. You will notice uh, you know the scrambling and the chroma upsampling is gonna be having a hard time reading the bandwidth between the cable uh, and the device connected to it with the TV. So to avoid that, to avoid all that stuff, because sometimes you would think it's your internet connection that sucks, but it's not your internet connection. The reason why it's buffering and it's scrambling is because. Uh, the bandwidth data that's reading between the HDMI cable and the device, it's having a hard time. It's a bottleneck because it's an older HDMI cable. It's not even 2.0. And I will show you some of those cables in some of the videos uh, and how you can tell the difference. I'm going to do that video separate one of these days. But for now, this is how you check your cable. Click on it. It's right above the uh, format. And we're going to check the cable right now. We're going to click check the cable check the cable and we're gonna wait what you see here is just my light it's my uh, light that I used on the camera my uh, GoPro Hero 5 camera okay now check your screen if you see a clear picture select OK all right so select OK all right so you good so you know that your cable it's working now even if you connect an older cable okay it's still going to work but you are going to notice some hiccups like uh, longer loading time buffering buffering the the, f the picture goes between 4k to 1k 4k to 1k you will you will see that bottleneck okay and chroma it's 420 now with chroma I usually select it at 422 because I want to get the best possible chroma upsampling, okay? I want to get that, I like to call it fake 12-bit compression, okay? You know, let's not get things twisted. There are no 12-bit televisions, okay? They don't exist. The real 12-bit television will knock your socks out when it comes out with the 8K, okay? What this is, it's 12-bit being compressed into a 10-bit. Uh, and the reason you see 422 is because you have a really good 
uh, 2.0 HDMI cable, okay? If you didn't have the HDMI 2.0 cable, high-speed 2.0 cable, you wouldn't see the option for 422 chroma upsampling, okay? You're not going to see that. So only with a high-speed, even says right here, uh, cables 422 improves clarity but requires a high-speed cable. So now that you have a high-speed cable, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and select 422. There will be a little black screen. It's going to show up, and then within a few seconds, it's going to come back. So we're going to click OK. Try it out. About a few seconds. Now it's communicating. See, this is the cable communicating be between a device and a television. Okay, you switch to a 422 chroma. So now you select OK. And now it looks great. And you're going to get a much better, uh, I can see it right away, much better quality picture here. All right, everything looks brighter, cleaner, okay? And that's definitely what you want, all right? So there you have it, guys. Just a short little video. Um, I like Apple 4K TV. It's really, a, it's really a great device. They have Amazon Prime. They have Netflix. They have YouTube. They have the best... 4K collection movies and TV shows with both Dolby Vision and HDR. I know you can buy a physical media disc, Batman, Nolan collection, but you're only going to get HDR. You're not going to get Dolby Vision, okay? Um, I was a little bit upset that they didn't include Dolby Vision and HDR. I mean, you're going to be spending near $200 on the collection. You couldn't put in Dolby Vision as well. Come on. You know what I mean? That's just my opinion. But for, for 20 bucks you get here, Dolby Vision and HDR. And here's another great example right here. And you go to the iTunes. Uh, well, here's a good example. Uh, Blade Runner. Here's like a, the new Blade Runner just came out. Here's a great example. For 20 bucks, you're getting a brand new movie, Blade Runner, that supports both Dolby Vision and HDR. On a physical media disc, you're going to spend $30 plus tax, $36, and you're only going to get an HDR. However, one benefit of physical media disc is you don't require an internet to watch the movie. Okay, and another benefit of watching a physical media disc on OPPO 203 or OPPO 205 is the fact that you're going to get a super, super clean, razor gillette sharp picture quality. I like to call it razor gillette high premium quality sharp detailed picture bitrate. And that's the one accolade, of course, of having a physical media disc. I will always prefer a physical media disc for me personally. But here, maybe I can do a little preview here. I'll turn the sound off just to show you how it looks, a little preview of the movie. Okay, so you can see it. Uh, and it looks fantastic. This is the trailer that's in 4K HDR, and it looks fantastic. Hold on a second. It's kind of hard to, to, to do this with the camera, you know. I'm trying to do my best here with the camera to show you this. But it's kind of difficult to do that. Hold on. There, you guys get the idea just how clean it is. This is a trailer that's in uh, HDR and Dolby Vision. Uh, it looks very clean, looks very nice. I mean, it's really a near 4K UHD Blu-ray quality. Uh, I was measuring the bit rate. It's only off by like maybe 15 um, megabits per second. Uh, but it's really close to a uh, 4K UHD quality. So, you know, honestly, for, for 4K HDR and Dolby Vision streaming, 
I would say Apple 4K TV this year, 2017, it's the best 4K streaming uh, device that you can buy. I don't think there's anything better than this. If there's something better than this out there that streams this many 4K movies with uh, this many collections of 4K movies and TVs for such a good price, then I'm all ears and I'm all eyes. I want to see it. Uh, the Nvidia Shield doesn't do it. Roku doesn't do it. Only Apple 4K TV is doing this. So kudos to uh, Apple for doing this. And uh, So there you have it. Hopefully this video, uh, again, was inf informative. I do these videos to inform you. You know, I know there's a lot of videos out there and there's a lot of confusion. Uh, some people do videos just to get a quick clickbait and whatnot. I actually do my research before I do this, you know. I don't just go ahead and talk about something I don't know. I would never do that. Uh, I usually do my research and try to give you guys uh, informative information so that way you don't have to go and search for this. Yes, you can always use Google, you can use internet, you can search it, but with this 11 minute to 12 minute video, I get to show you what type of HDMI cable do you need and what sort of options should you choose? Why should you choose 422 Chroma to get the best possible HDR? So I kind of explained this to you so that way you can enjoy Apple 4K TV device on your brand new TV you got for Christmas and you can have fun and enjoy this movie Blade Runner 2049. In terms of receiver, I already said to you guys, Onkyo 676 or preferably Onkyo, newest Onkyo, which is TXNR 777. I would highly recommend 777. It's one of the best, in my opinion, premium entry level uh, receivers you can get. Listen, guys, thank you all for supporting me. And uh, look, I'm still surprised that I made this many subscribers in a year. Within a year, I'm able to pull in near 19K, 19,000. I think by the end of January, I'll probably hit 20,000. To me, personally, to me, that's a big milestone. And I thank you guys. I appreciate everyone's... Uh, for those of you whom I didn't get a chance to say thank you uh, for all the wishes. You guys have to remember, I have thousands and thousands of friends on Facebook, on, on Xbox, PlayStation. It would be impossible for me to go through every and each individual person to reply you know I, I wouldn't have time to do that that's a lot of effort a lot of work but I do try through videos and through the comments I do try to reply to you guys in best to my abilities like I said thank you all if you guys have any questions just uh, write it down below by the way there will be a Dolby Vision versus HDR comparison uh, coming up soon uh, probably Friday I'm not sure maybe Friday I'll do it Friday evening. Uh, we'll do some comparisons. We'll talk about the difference between the Dolby Vision and HDR. And also, what type of calibrations do I prefer for this movie? You know, and uh, we'll do that probably Friday. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one, though. Take care and uh, enjoy your holidays. Stay safe. Don't drink and drive.